That shooting happened Friday afternoon at the North Avenue Marta station during busy evening commute. Flex 5's Joy Duke spoke with a passenger who says he watched it all happen. Joy, you're live there. I can just only imagine the scary moments for those passengers on the train. Yeah, Eric, good evening to you. We're told that this all started when those two undercover MARTA police officers were confronting a man they believed had marijuana. An argument led to gunfire. And the passengers we spoke with say they are still shaken up by what happened. A deadly exchange at the North Avenue MARTA station between two MARTA police officers and a 23-year-old man sent passengers into a panic Friday afternoon. When I saw that guy at the train, the gang started yelling. All young Investigators with the GBI say the undercover officers confronted the man about smoking marijuana. An argument led to the man pulling a gun, and that's when they shot him. Kasim Buho says he saw what happened. He shot the guy and all the bleeding everywhere. Medics rushed the man to Grady, where he later died. Anybody who take martyr, you can ask anybody around here right now. They're going to say it's always something crazy going on martyr. You never know what you're going to see. Jonathan Ham takes the martyr every day to get to work. He says he knew something was wrong when his usual stop was rerouted. So it was kind of to me. I had to get off there and come down here to figure out what's going on, only to be told that my transportation probably not coming. I'm going to have to find another way to get home. He tells Fox 5 he was disappointed to learn what caused the disruption in service. I'm just sorry, young, another young black man has lost his life due to nonsense. Again, I, I just, that's what saddens me the most. You know? Marijuana was decriminalized in Atlanta in 2017, now carrying a $75 fine if a person is found guilty of possession in court. You can still be arrested if you're found with it on you, but the conviction has been reduced to that fine. It's not working like that. Both men agreed on that. Now the victim's identity has not yet been released. The GBI says that that information is still pending. We also reached out to MARTA police to find out what the employment status of those two officers was. We're still waiting to hear back. That's the latest here live tonight in Midtown. Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News. Scary moments, Joy. Thanks so much.